They are rage. Brutal. Without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rid them tear until it is done. This time I'm going to talk about Rune Muse. I swear, she totally didn't force me to make a video about her or anything like that. If Rune is the Doom Slayer, then Rune Muse is the Doom Slayer armed with dubstep gun from Saints Row 4. She may be armed with music, but she does rip and tear stuff no worse than her basic self. So, let's observe her history. Rune was- That's it for Rune's history. Rune Muse came upon our souls in universe in unison event, where she was mainly available in event point 6 change. In my opinion this event has one of the best music Yosta's composers could ever create. And I really doubt they will manage to create something better in the next title ship event to come. Well, I may be wrong. Stat wise Rune Muse is pretty much identical to her original, except Muse having a bit more HP and lesser oil consumption. Torps and AA are okay, but don't rely on them too much. Rune's HP pool and firepower are one of the best among heavy cruisers. Nice evasion also helps with tanking damage. So overall Rune is a mammoth tank with caffeine overdose. And that was your quick stat overview. Rune Muse has 3 skills. Compared to her original self, the former has a more offensive skill kit, and lacks siren killer skill. One of Rune Muse's skills is your regular all out assault, except it shoots musical notes, just as any self respecting Muse ship should. With her bilateral accompaniment, Rune can spawn 5 rotating shields, but only 2 of them work like actual shields. The other 3 work like laser blades that damage enemies on contact. Can you even call them shields? I don't know. So to utilize this skill, sometimes you will want to get more personal with enemies, just like when you want all of torpedoes hit the bad guys. Unless you play on auto that is. Rune's main offensive skill would be Encore Flare with shoots, leveled barrage every 15 seconds, and weakens hit enemies. If only one enemy is hit then in addition to that Rune Mew shoots torpedoes and enemy gets frozen for 3 seconds. Additional barrages are always nice and welcome. But there is a slight problem with timings. In average loading timings of your battleships and carriers takes from 22 to 26 seconds. This does not fit into the timing of barrage. But that doesn't make this skill useless. Ah yes, the weapons. We won't have to make a bicycle. So we will take a regular tanking heavy cruiser build. For main gun the best option would be triple 234mm gun aka drake gun. You may be a legend, if you have it. A basic option can be Cheshire's twin 234mm with normal ammo or runes triple 203mm with armor piercing shells. Poverty option is German twin 203mm gun. There isn't much choice with torpedoes, so you can take quadruple magnetic torpedo mount, because German science is the best. Another viable choice is your regular quintuple 533mm torpedo mount. In your AA slot you put sextuple 40mm buffers. If you don't have it, your average quadruple 40mm buffers will do as well. Another good option is British twin 134mm gun for extra firepower, if anti-air is not a concern. Lastly, auxiliary equipment. Improved hydraulic rudder is a must have for tanking. Into your second slot you can put Beaver's Badge for more evasion, Cosmic Kicks which are a bit worse version of Beaver's Badge or a repair toolkit, if you live in poverty. For the love of cod, it is scary to think what will happen, if you use conventional weapons. And so this guide came to its end. Leave a like and maybe even subscribe. Now I need to think of guides for other girls before Rune will notice me acting funny. No wait, I can explain. Where am I? What is this? Hey, you. Finally awake. Oh god, 